Yo, what's happening? Making sure you can see me. What's up, everybody? Long overdue figure update, December 2012 edition. This is a big one. I'm not even going to mince words about that. I'm not going to pretend that this is a small update. This is a big update, so let's get that out of the way. Let's get down to brass tacks immediately. Thank you. Okay, so uh, got a lot of stuff. Uh, this month, and it, this will probably be my, maybe my last one for a little while because got way too much stuff. I got to take some time off, you know, no more figs for a little bit. You know, you understand you got to live life, pace things out anyway. But, um, between like game days to now, a lot of stuff went down. So as you know, if you saw a bunch of my game days videos, got a lot of vinylmation stuff, but I'm not going to spend too much time on that. But there's that cat from Pinocchio, where the hell his name is, Ichabod or whatever. But anyway, got a bunch of Vinylmation. You could see that in the Vinylmation video, videos and stuff that I put up during Game Days Week and stuff like that. You could see which ones. But I also got, they put out, Vinylmation put out this new series called Popcorns or something. I don't know. It was stupid. But anyway, they're in weird ass shapes. They had another version, yet another, of Satan. So I got another Satan. Don't think I'm running out of Satans in here, because I got him. Bam. Uh, and just, I thought that was a cool design, whatever. These are 25 bucks. No, sorry, that's ridiculous. However, a good friend and ally on game days said, Yo, I got the hookup. I'll get you a discount. So I was like, well, that'll be the only way I get this. So I got that Satan, popcorn Satan. How many popcorn shakes do I give it? That was like eight. Anyway, cool stuff. Can't go wrong with Satan. You can, but not in vinyl form, you know. Don't don't get it twisted. Okay. Uh, speaking of Vinylmations, I didn't show these ones before. I haven't opened them yet. But I don't know if I'm going to get all these or not. I might. Anyway. They did some Vinylmation figures based on the Toy Story Mania uh, area, attraction, whatever, in Tokyo Disney, where I, I've, I was there and I vaguely remember it, but they had kind of like, I think some of this more kind of childlike artwork, like just kind of scribble, shitty artwork, basically. No offense to any kids out there, but shitty. Uh, anyway, they did Vinylmations that look like that, so that's Buzz Lightyear. It's basically purposely shitty Vinylmation, and I thought that was funny. I don't know. There's an alien. They intentionally look bad. That was funny to me. That's kind of like a, a laugh situation. So, got two. Of, I just got two of those. I don't know if I'm gonna get the rest. Like I said, they got Woody. They got uh, Jesse. I think that's it. So, two more. Maybe I'll get the rest. Who knows? But these were funny. I got the funniest ones. They made me. They get a laugh out of me. I don't know. Okay. So, coming up next, uh, Siri, uh, well, no, let's just, let's blow the doors off. Bam, baby. Link. Yeah, that's right. This, you know, you, you're saying, I don't know if they've ever released a serious figure of Link before, like a real legit one. Well, just shut your mouth right now. There it is. Bam. You may be going, hey, what's that on a sword? Is that some kind of cancerous growth? No. Oh, what's up? That's a slash, baby. That's motion lines whatever energy whatever you want to call it but he's got it as if he was slashing downward yeah that's right oh shield in hand whatever this is the figma version of link for really like one of the first legit link figures that i know of i mean they've done statues and little rinky dink little whatever but this is legit completely posable it's on the stand right now completely posable came with switchable faces so like right now he's pissed you could switch that out with a normal face um a lot of drama with this figure fig drama what do you what else are you gonna do but anyway um a lot of here's the box i don't know if you needed to see that all the different poses and stuff you could do and whatever anyway um a lot of drama with this figure because basically they said oh yeah um we're totally gonna release this in the u.s well u.s distributor got the rights Diamond Distribution, whatever company, got the rights. So, hey, pre-order now at all these U.S. sites. And all these U.S. sites took orders 
And then the day it came out, or was supposed to come out, they put out a notice. Oh, yeah, we didn't get the rights to that after all. Sorry. And they dumped everyone's pre-orders. Uh, and by that point, it was already sold out in Japan. So if you ordered it in any United States kind of fashion, you didn't get it. However, this is me you're talking about. I don't reserve this from no U.S. source. It's a Japanese figure. I go to a Japanese source. I was smart, so anybody out there, you just you want to look at me as a beacon of intelligence, go ahead and play this video on loop. Anyway, so I got it. You got to get Japanese stuff from a Japanese source, man, because you don't want that U.S. middleman messing with your stuff. I got nothing against the United States, the greatest country in the world, but you, you didn't get your Figma, did you? All you Big Bad Toy Store people. Big Bad Toy Store is a great site, but I have trouble when I order Japanese stuff from them. I don't do that. Anyway, so Link, one of the coolest figures I've gotten in a long time. That'll go right up there somewhere alongside uh, Samus. They also made a Samus figure. Figma's been kicking ass, man. Uh, Figmas are good. They're they're a little pricey, but not too bad. Figure arts are, pr are too pricey. I got some figure arts, and I'll show those in a second. But those are a little too much. They're great, but they cost too much. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you I got an exclusive, next one is exclusive, but you can go get one pretty cheap right now if you want it, two-pack. It is, okay, Prometheus figures coming up. Prometheus spoilers, if you haven't seen the movie yet. Now I have to find the other part to it. Here we go, okay, got it, found it. Prometheus two-pack of battle damage, well, not battle damaged, I guess, but uh, shipwreck damaged uh, engineer. If you can see that, uh, he's all screwed up. He's yelling because he's mad. Well, he's going to be mad in a second when you see what happens to him. But he's damaged from the... Uh, I forget the name of the engineer's ship. It had a name. The Juggernaut? I don't know. When they crashed into it, they, cra whoops, they crashed the Prometheus into it and knocked it down, much like I just knocked it down. Anyway, um, so he's damaged. He comes back in. He's running after Shaw. And then what happens? Spoilers. The door opens up and the little gross thing they extracted from her becomes this. The adult trilobite is what they call it. This is a... Now, I just want to... Here's the thing I want to reiterate here. This is a Toys R Us exclusive. Toys R Us. Children's Toy Store. I mean, they have, they have some adult collectible stuff too. Much like this. This is from an R-rated movie. So, okay, they have stuff like that. But it's still a child's environment for the most part. I mean, let's be real. It's toys. It's a toy store. So here's the ad adult trilobite, which if you really look into it, I mean, so it's got these tentacles. First of all, this thing is awesome. This two, Okay, so it came with these together. That's cool because this thing kill, uh, basically impregnates this dude with something, something special. Anyway. This is completely flexible. I mean, it's it's really cool. Like, they actually did an awesome job. NECA kicked ass with these Prometheus figures. And this whole uh, two-pack was like 29 bucks or whatever. So it was a good deal. Good deal. Even Link by itself was not 29 bucks. But anyway, um, so totally, totally posable in every way. Really freaky-ass thing. And then you got these little tentacles that grab onto him to impregnate him in the uh, movie. But if you really look in there, I mean, that is just, I think there was a video online, a review of the movie that called it Super Vagina, which I, I'm familiar with that territory given the, you know, how these figure updates come out so regularly, you, you know how it is. But anyway, that's what that is. But here's what I want to point out, if I can find it. And I hope that I can. Oh, no, I didn't come prepared for this. There it is. Okay. Here is the thing. Okay. So what happens in the movie is it, it, with those tentacles, he grabs onto the engineer's face. Like, and then bla basically fires a tentacle into its throat where it's in, in impregnates him with something. Okay. I don't want to spoil it. It's an alien. So that happens in the movie. Well, so it came with the tentacle to attach 
into, you see it? I mean, it goes in there and it also fits into this guy's mouth. Well, I want you to look really closely at that. That's a dick. In case anyone out there, late, I know there are a lot of, you know, this is a mostly female audience. Ladies, in case you haven't seen it before. That's a dick. That's what that looks like. This is a Toys R Us exclusive. That's all. Just want to point that out. Uh, but it fits perfectly uh, into the figure's mouth. So, you know, you can recreate that scene. So, just, again, Toys R Us exclusive. Um, fits perfectly into the mouth. Just the tentacle, right? Yeah. Anyway, um, I don't have the packaging here anymore, but conspicuously, the Toys R Us exclusive sticker on the clear packaging covers this part that it comes with. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. I wonder why they didn't want you to see that. So now we've all learned some things about each other. Okay. Anyway. Um, so next thing coming up. All right. This is a big one. I'm going to get this out of the way real quick because you just got to move on. And there's a lot to say here, but you know, we'll say it later. Yes. To everyone who emailed yes to everyone who messaged, called, faxed. I did get the Back to the Future 2 hoverboard. That's actually the first time I could get the sound effects to work. But let's see if we hear some more. Oh, shit. I almost broke something. Okay. There we go. Uh, there's been... Okay, so you see how the sound effects work. Now it's off. Anyway, Back to the Future Hoverboard replica finally came out. Uh, they, they took pre-orders for it in like March. I got one. Uh, I plan on making a video with this or videos with this later. So you're going to be seeing a lot later. That's why I don't want to spend too much time on this. Um, there were a lot of bad reviews of this thing. Rightfully so. They basically showed a version. It's supposed to be movie replica one-to-one. -one. Uh, however, the the material in the movie isn't quite the same. Like the movie, it, it was this was lenticular. Well, you know, like those like cheesy DVD packages you get when it's like, you know, you can like move it back and forth and it looks like Spider Man's taking a shit or whatever. So it's supposed to look like that. Instead, it's a sticker. I mean, it's that's cheap. I mean, let's be honest, it's cheap. I'm fine with it. I, 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 uh, and there was another article. I think like Gizmodo put, this is the worst toy of 2012. Yeah. The number one thing in the article was that it doesn't hover. Uh, uh. Okay. So anyway, but for what I wanted, it was just, you know, just a general replica of the thing. It works great. This thing's heavy as hell. It makes sounds and all that stuff. I knew what I was getting. Uh, so I, I, I was fine with it, but they did do the fans wrong by telling it, you know, saying it was going to be one thing and having it be another. That's weak. But I dig it for what it is. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to be using this for video stuff later. It's got the grip. Put your foot in there. I'm not gliding on this thing. I don't know who would do that. That's really stupid. Obviously, I'm smart, so that doesn't really compute. Anyway, um, so there's that. And um, it also came with, because I pre-ordered it. Okay, die already. Okay, um, because, like, for a pre-order, shut up. For a pre-order bonus, it came with a, th this is the most pointless thing I've ever seen. Came with a miniature hoverboard for six-inch figures. Now, you can rip the handlebars off Marty McFly style. And there it is. And the stickers are, like, coming off of it. Anyway, just a little hoverboard. Why? I don't know. But it's cool now because you can have like Link rocking this hoverboard and stuff. Like there you go. So I'm just going to attach that. That's kind of like pimp right there. Look at that. So he'll be doing that. That's cool. I feel really cool right now. Anyway, um, so that's the hoverboard. We'll, we'll move on from that. Just real quick, two more things. But, they're, but this is a big deal. I'm going to have to move this camera. Okay, here we go. That's the ceiling. Sorry, we're going to have to move over here for a second okay crap i don't know if i have enough light but 
That's BAM, Figuarts Perfect Cell. Figuarts, look, these are great. You're too expensive. This is like 55 bucks or 60 bucks. Anyway, it was pretty bad. But anyway, uh, there it is. If you can see that, I have it in just, I mean, you can't get a better pose than that. Uh, it came with this energy blast, which you put on a stand. It even, look, it came with the dirt. It came with dirt to rustle up. I mean, you can't beat that. Anyway, um, whoops. Okay, so there's Batman. Ignore Batman. Anyway, um, having that pose right there, firing that blast. I'd move it around, but I got it where I want it. Anyway, so there's that. Uh, figure art cell looking pretty good, but hey, it's not even all about that. Let's let's be real for a second. Let's show what you've been all waiting for. Bam, baby. Oh, what's up? Solidus Snake. Solidus, as in Metal Gear. Solidus. I don't think that's the correct title, but anyway. This is one of, hands down, the coolest figures I've ever... Tree of Life, that's kind of like an interesting movie. Anyway, uh, one of the coolest figures I've ever, ever gotten. Look out, hand, my hand for comparison right there. That thing is, this is titanic. Look at that. Look at that bitch. He's got, I mean, the detail is excellent. Look at the face paint and all that stuff. I mean, it's just, come on, focus, you piece of... Okay, there we go. Focusing. I love every little detail. You know, U.S. Army logo right there. Just everything about it. It's really, really cool. Um, got rocking a katana right there. You're rocking... Uh, got the tentacles attached. You can you can uh, give them like a chest plate that doesn't have the tentacles. But why would you do that? That's stupid. Anyway. I mean, that thing is titanic. Look at it. There's Fantasy Star Online. There's... Akiba Ranger, there's the, you know, the Megazord itself right there. Piss on all that. Look at this. This thing towers all above it. It's, I mean, it's just a thing. It's a thing of beauty right there. Look at that. You got Samus up there and all that stuff. Who cares right now? Solidus is in the house. It's just, oh. Oh, makes me want to cry. Look at it. Oh. Oh. oh look at that. Anyway, okay, well, I think that's it. No, it's not it. Wait, I got a couple more vinyl missions I forgot to show. In France, I was in France, and they showed, or they had, uh, you know, I got some of these Haunted Mansion ones before. They weren't sold out in France like they were in California, and bam, Master Gracie, bitch. Master Gracie, bitch. Got him. The one normal human-looking vinyl mansion in the whole Haunted Mansion set. I got him. He's the guy in the painting. He's in a painting. So it's a work of art, baby. Okay, anyway. We're done with that. Um, thank you, Figure Update 2012's December is probably the best one yet. Uh, shout out everybody, Bandai. Shout out everybody, Kotobukiya or whatever. I didn't have any of their stuff here, so I don't know why I shout out to them. Thank you, and Merry Christmas to all. Get some figs. In the meantime, in between time, figs, baby. Turn it off!